What up YouTube, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time visiting, welcome to my channel. My name is Toyel and I'm here to do a reading for y'all. So hit that like and subscribe button. I want to thank y'all so much for the likes and subscribe thus far. And let's get into this video. Let's go. Go take a little trip. It's such a future with me. Go take a little dip. Go take a little dive. Get that energy right. We gon' get it together. The car, the cars, the key clarity, the cars, the cars, the key with you need. So let's get into this reading. So I do have channel messages for y'all. So I'm going to read you guys what I picked up on while I was channeling, okay? Uh, I do have names and locations at the end of the reading if you would like to stick around for that. If not, that's fine too. But let's get into it because I do not think I've done a channel reading for you guys all year long, okay? I channel all the time. I just never record it. So if you really, really like this reading, hit that like and subscribe button. Let me know that it hit for you. And I will try to record more for y'all but at the end of the day i always channel i just <laughs> never get the fuck on here and record it so let's get into it so what i picked up on while i was channeling is that somebody crossed you and your ancestors are not playing any games with with them okay and whoever crossed you is scared as fuck okay this person thinks that they're gonna go to hell so i don't know what this person was doing maybe they were playing mind games with you but this is like somebody like oh my god i did them so wrong i wonder if i'm gonna go to hell for that this is something that somebody's been praying about like they are asking for forgiveness god please forgive me i know i did this to them i know i bullied them i know i tried to hurt them i know i crossed them i know i betrayed them uh, i don't know why i did that god please forgive me because like yeah somebody's scared as fuck like somebody feels like they're gonna go to hell for some of the shit that they did to you doesn't mean that it's true this is just how they're feeling but what i do feel on your end is that your ancestors ain't playing with them so maybe the energy that they're feeling is your ancestors beating their ass okay <laughs> Not necessarily that they're actually going to go to hell, but for some of y'all, they might throw themselves in hell mentally, okay? But yeah, it's just like somebody's scared that they're going to go to hell for some of the shit that they've done to you or some of the shit that they've done to other people, okay? But what y'all need to know about this person is this person is really just weird, okay? This person just keeps projecting onto you negative things, negative things that they've done, negative things that they've experienced when it ain't got nothing to do with you, okay? So like I said, let's say that somebody's like, oh, uh... She wears pink because, and, and I don't know, it's like some off the wall shit. They're literally just projecting, but y'all don't have to worry about this person projecting and trying to get other people to look at you in a negative light because everybody sees it. Everybody knows that this person is hating. Everybody knows that this person is jealous. Everybody knows that this person is weird. They know what this person is doing, okay? This person wishes to be in the same position that you're in. This person wishes that they can do the things that you are doing. So like I said, they just try to project negative shit onto you just don't get don't don't get so upset thinking that people believe that shit like some of y'all y'all might think because me i know that when somebody like somebody could tell a lie on me that's not the issue the issue is that some of these motherfuckers might believe that lie and now i want to beat you up that's what it feel like like now i want to beat you up because you lied on me and six people believed you i, I don't care if a million motherfuckers was listening and only six people believed it it's the fact that six people believe that lie about me. So some of y'all, that's what's going on. Like, don't ever worry about other people looking at you in a negative light because everybody knows that this person is a weirdo. Everybody knows that this person is a hater and everybody knows this person is just projecting here, okay? Everybody sees it. Mostly, and the people that don't see it, don't worry about them. They're just as whack as them. They're just as kooky as them, okay? Um, but this person is realizing that they cannot compete with you and they feel like they don't really compare to you. So this is the main reason that they're doing what they're doing to you. This is the main reason they're trying to cross you. This is the main reason they want you to be looked at in a negative light because they look at you and they see your light. And so they're like, they're just trying to bring you down. Oh, she's not special. She's just doing this. He's not that. He's just doing that. But they're literally projecting. So I always remember when somebody's projecting onto you like that, they have done that shit that they're saying. Like, especially if you ain't did that shit or you're not doing what they're, you're, they're saying you're doing. Just know that they have done that shit. They would do that shit or it got done to them or they saw somebody do it. But it ain't got nothing to do with you and everybody else recognizes that it ain't got nothing to do with you, okay? This person just feels inadequate to you, okay? 
Uh, also, put this person really, really hates you because other people like you. You might got friends and family members to show you love. Hell, y'all might be a part of the fa same friend group or family group. It really do not matter. But all I can see is this person really, really hates you because of the people that show you love. Because the people that connect with you. Because the people that really, really, like I said, fuck with you. They love you. Okay? Um, but for some of y'all, I put it could have taken you a long time to realize that these people really do not fuck with you. Not the people that actually fuck with you, but this person. So it's giving me, um, whoever this person is that keeps projecting negative energy onto you is somebody that you either grew up with, grew up around. It could be a family member, an old friend. It's somebody that, like, you, you know them. You've been around this person, like I said. Um, but yeah, it seems like this person hated you for, like, the longest and y'all just didn't realize it. Okay. And the reason why this person hates you is because other people love you. Other people really rock with you. Other people really fuck with you. So, like I said, it's like them seeing you be loved and then them being like, well, and then just throwing negative energy on you. Nobody believes them, okay? Nobody fucks with this person like that. I also put you guys, y'all are smart as fuck because this person tried to lock you in a box and you knew exactly what to do to get out. I'm telling y'all, this person tried to label you. They tried to project negative energy onto you and they, they tried to have you trapped in this little box that's not you. They they kept trying to do affirmations because I'm literally seeing y'all in this small box that this person had y'all in and then them speaking negative affirmations onto you. That's the way I'm seeing it in my mind's eye. Like there's this box and you guys are so tiny in the box and you're jumping, trying to get out of the box. And while you're jumping, trying to get out of the box, this person is speaking negative affirmations onto you, trying to make that your life. OK, um, but you guys are really, really smart and you knew how to get out of that box. OK, you knew how to get out of that label. You know how to when, when you know when somebody's projecting, you know how to be like, nah, that ain't me. Like you did not claim that energy. You're like, nah, that ain't me. I would never do that. I ain't never going to do that. I ain't never going to be like that. That's not me. That might be you, but it's not me. OK, so, yeah, y'all are really, really smart because this person might be really good at putting people in boxes and making other people look at them in that way. But like I said, y'all are really, really smart. I feel like y'all really know how to deal with narcissists. Some of y'all y'all might have gray rock this person. Some of y'all, the best thing to do is straight up call their asses out and tell them like, nah, that ain't me. That's you. OK, but like I said, whatever box somebody tried to uh, put you in, you got your ass out of that real quick because you're smarter than them. OK, um, I also put you guys, you might have had an energy shift. Because I put, I used to be down bad, but now a bitch, okay? The reason why you was down bad at first is because this person put you in the box. And it's because they were speaking negative affirmations over you, over your life, trying to get other people to join in, okay? And that's why you was down bad. But I do feel like y'all have had an energy shift, and this person notices your energy shift. They notice that you're no longer down bad, you no longer sad, you're no longer taking on that energy that they tried to project onto you. And that's why they scared as fuck. Wait. How does she get out of that box? I remember I put her in a box and she was supposed to be the ugly black sheep. I remember that I said that he was supposed to be the lame and nobody was ever supposed to like him. I remember I said that they were never supposed to make money, that they were always going to be the broke one. How did they get out of that box? So this person is scared as fuck because you got out of the box. You got out of that box and they tried to stuff you in, to keep you in. Good job. Keep it up. Okay. Because like I said, y'all are smarter than this. Y'all are smarter than them. Like I said, can't no narcissist keep you down. Hold, I'm keep. I'm hearing uh, keep you bound. So maybe this person had you bound in some sort of way or they tried to keep you bound. But like I said, y'all are smarter than them. Y'all got the fuck up out of that box. You said no, whatever, uh, whatever reputation this person tried to put on me, that's not me. So sorry. Like you got out, then this person is mad as fuck or they were mad when you first got out of that box. But like I said, now they're scared. Now they know that they are about to get karma because they really tried to change the course of your life by literally like putting you in that box. They thought you was not going to get out. <laughs> I'm telling you, but you grew up at that shit. Uh, um, I grew up about it and the dirt that they threw on my name turned to soil and I grew up about it. Time to time for y'all to figure out what y'all going to do about it. Ah! It's time for them hoes to figure out what is they going to do about it because the dirt that they threw on your name turned to soil and you grew up out of it. You grew and you grew up out of that box and now they're like, damn, wait, 
We said that she was going to be the unsuccessful one. We said that she was going to be the one to never get love, never get married. We said that they was going to be the one that's always broke. They grew up out that shit. We threw all that dirt on their name and they grew. What the fuck are we going to do now? So that's why somebody's scared because they they talk so down on y'all. They crossed you like crazy and you still grew. You still got up out of that shit. So I love it for y'all, okay? So like I said, you used to be down bad. Now you have an energy shift. So kudos to y'all, okay? Um, I also put somebody keeps trying to uh, drag your name through the mud. Uh, but here's the thing. Y'all might have called y'all ancestors. Because what I put in quotations is, y'all better get them before I do. So I don't know if y'all pray to y'all ancestors or you ask your spirit guys, hey, like whatever's going on, fix it. I don't know if y'all returned the sender or if some of y'all physically said, hey, you better get this bitch before I get her. Because some of y'all, this might be something that more so happened physically than spiritually. But for a lot of y'all, this is more so spiritual, okay? But yeah, it's the energy where you're like, hey, ancestors, God, my spirit team, get this bitch before I get her. Because they keep trying to pull me down and bring me down. And I'm not going for that shit. I literally see y'all fighting, like spiritually. So y'all yeah, know how to fight spiritually, okay? Um, but yeah, this person kept trying to drug, drag your name through the mud. And yeah, I just see y'all being in energy where you're like, okay, I need my ancestor to do their thing before I have to beat this bitch up or whatever's going on. Okay. So kudos to y'all. Okay. Um, so I, I asked spirit like, well, who are y'all dealing with? For some of y'all, you guys are dealing with, it's not for everybody. There's a man who likes to dress like a, uh, a woman or a man that likes to dress in women's clothing, but that is not for everybody. Um, I feel like because I picked up on so many energies, I'm just going to read y'all what I picked up on, okay? So some of y'all, y'all might be dress, uh, dealing with a man who likes to dress like a woman or in, in women's clothing, so a transgender. Uh, whatever's going on, this person is scared as fuck. Whoever this person is, they're scared as hell, but the transgender uh, situation does not have to um, fit for everybody, okay? The person that you're dealing with, like I said, they're scared as fuck. I put that they feel like that you're about to pull your soldiers out on their ass. <laughs> your spirit guides, your ancestors, they feel like you're about to pull all that shit out on them. Like, hey, you gonna, this your last time talking to me like that? It's your last time trying to throw me in this box? This your last time trying to project this negative energy onto me? I'm about to get your ass. Okay, uh, y'all better get her before I get her. That's what I'm getting, like for real. So this person is scared as fuck because they feel like, like I said, you about to uh, pull your soldiers out on them. Your spirit guys, your angels, your ancestors, whatever's going on, okay? I also put, they feel like maybe it was their friend and not them. So I feel like for some of y'all, this might be two people. Let's say that there was two people and they both was like bullying you or they both were projecting onto you. Um, one person feels like, no, it wasn't me. It was my friend. And the other person feels like, no, it wasn't me. It was her. But they both are in this energy where they were trying to bully you and betray you. Okay. Let me see what else I put. Um, for some of y'all, this person just doesn't like you because of somebody else. Like I said, heavy emphasis on, remember when I said they didn't like you how, because of how other people loved you. Like the reason why this person doing all that is because, other people really like you. There's somebody specific that they like or that they love that loves you or shows you love or is there for you. And this is another reason that they was doing that weird shit, okay? Um, I also put that this person is like pleading for their life. I see this person really praying and be like, God, please, I know that her ancestors is on my ass. God, please, I know I did this to her. I know I did this to him. Please, God, just forgive me. Like, I really see this person pleading for their life. Like, this person is scared as fuck. Like, I don't know what this person did to y'all. Well, I do know they projected negative energy from being jealous. But I don't know what y'all did to let them know that you are powerful. I don't know what y'all did to let them know that your ancestors don't play about you. But they have been like praying. I see somebody in a closet praying. Scared as fuck. Asking for forgiveness for what they did to you. Or what they tried to do to you. But somebody is scared as hell. Okay. Somebody's literally pleading for their life. Okay. 
I also put, like, they literally know your ancestors are coming for them. Somebody knows your ancestors, do not fuck with them. They know that it's their ass. Whatever's going on, I, I feel like they did way more than just project negative energy onto you. Because the way that their energy is, is, like, panicky. Their energy is like, oh, my God, I fucked her over. Huh? Like, they're panicking, and it's weird. <laughs> okay? Um, I also put... Hold on, let me see where I'm at. Yeah, they, they feel like your ancestors are coming for them. Uh, I also put they do not want to be your enemy anymore. Okay? Now that you got yourself out the box. Okay? This person was okay with being your enemy when they put you in that box. They were okay with being your enemy when they wanted you to be the black sheep. They were okay with being your enemy when whatever they were putting onto you and projecting onto you was working. Okay, they were okay with that shit. But now they're praying, God, please, I don't want to be her enemy. I don't want to be his enemy. I don't want nothing to happen to me. I'm sorry I did that to her. I'm sorry I did that to him. That's really the vibes I'm getting from this person. I don't want to, I don't want to beef with this person anymore, okay? Um, and I also put this person that is doing it, because I'm still on the who are you dealing with? Who is this person? This is somebody. Um, they could have been with somebody else. Like, for some of y'all, it could have been somebody else that was doing the weird shit. And this person could have been laughing, like, hard as fuck. Okay? So, it's really giving me, like, I don't know. This person thought the shit was funny at first. But now they're concerned. So, whatever's going on, they thought, <laughs> we're bullying her now. This shit funny. Uh -huh. But, like, when I say they're concerned now, they're really scared as hell. Like I said, they're praying, they're asking God and your ancestors for forgiveness. They're asking for protection. But I'm telling you, this is somebody like at first when the shit was first going on and when you were in the box, they thought the shit was funny. They were like, look at her. She can't even <laughs> look at them. Like they really thought it was funny. And maybe that's something you realize. Like you think this shit funny. Okay. Um. So yeah, this person is their own enemy. They ain't your enemy. They, yo, they're their own enemy, okay? What else I put? What is the collective's energy? Your energy is that you're about to knock somebody the fuck out. <laughs> Spiritually. I don't know what this person... I do know what they did to you. I'm telling you. They tried to project negative energy onto you and tried to keep you in a box. Some of y'all, y'all caught on to who it is. Or you just caught on to the shit in general. And you're about to knock this person out spiritually. Like I said, some of y'all, I really get the vibe that you returned to sender. Some of y'all, y'all might have done a spell or something if you're into spell work. Uh, some of y'all, like I said, you might have set up some type of protection work. You, you might have did like a protection spell or some type of protection work. Some of y'all, y'all might have straight up just told your ancestors, just get them. Get them before. <laughs> Drizzy saying, get her, I'm a get her. I got the type of money, make a broke bitch better. I got that kind of, wait, wait. Fixate. Which bitch you know made a million off a of mixtape? Yeah, this person's like sitting there fixating on the shit that they, that, that they did to you. Damn, I did do this, this, and that to her. God, please forgive me. God, please forgive me. That's really what I'm getting. Okay? Um, But yeah, what's, what's your energy that you're about to knock somebody the fuck out? For a lot of y'all, this is spiritually. But for a small amount of y'all, I'm going to go say 2% of y'all, y'all might actually have to knock this bitch out. Okay, <laughs> not everybody, okay? Um, also put for your energy, you are a naturally happy person, okay? But some of your core memories could be negative due to this person, okay? Due to what this person did to y'all, due to this person trying to put you in the box, okay? So it really is giving me the uh, vibe that they, like I said, they made you the black sheep. They wanted you to be that black sheep. They put you in that energy and without them putting you in that box, you never would have been in that energy. You would have only had mainly positive energy your core memories would have been more so positive but i feel like when you look back on shit like you might be a naturally happy person but when you look back on shit like you're traumatized you were a victim you felt unloved um people like i said tried to ruin your reputation it's because this person or these people tried to put you in a box okay so so some of y'all might have a lot of negative core memories because of this person and that's why they have to get karma that's why they gotta get their ass beat they literally kind of sort of shifted the course of your life a little bit like y'all should have been farther than where what you are or where you are now but hey it's okay every you know everything happens for a reason but y'all could have been farther than what you are now if this person didn't 
put you in that fucking box and try to make everybody else throw rocks at you while you were in the box. Like I'm little, now I'm seeing I'm keep seeing somebody small as fuck in a box and then people throwing tiny rocks at them, laughing and shit. Oh, you're ducking and dodging and trying to protect yourself. But like I said, the dirt that they threw on your name, you grew. Now you bigger than them. Now they're oh fuck. How did you grow? How did you get so big? <laughs> y'all did a lot of healing, okay? And some of y'all, y'all still have to heal. Because like I said, some of y'all core memories are of these people trying to make you the black sheep. You know, some of y'all core memories uh, are of these people trying to keep you down, to keep you bound, okay? Which is sad. But I feel like, like I said, naturally y'all are happy people. It's just the, the core memories, could be a little sad or traumatizing or something some of them especially comparing uh when it comes to this person or these people okay um so i asked spirit like what did they do i really wanted to know what the fuck did they do to you <laughs> where they are shaking their boots they're praying to god they're like god please forgive me i didn't know that this person was ever gonna grow out of what i tried to put them in i didn't know that they were ever gonna you know i didn't know that they would ever get out of that energy God, please forgive me. So I wanted to know what they did to you. And it's going to be different for everybody. So please take these how they resonate because it's a long list, okay? So some of you guys, this these people had unreal beauty standards for you. Um, and this could have been a huge reason why they did not like you. You might look different from people in your family. Let's say everybody in your family light skin and you happen to be the chocolate one. They did that shit to you for that. Vice versa. Everybody in your family could be chocolate. You could be light-skinned. They did that shit to you because of that. Um, you could look different. You could look like your daddy's side and your mama's side did that shit to you. Vice versa. You could look like your mama's side and your daddy's side treated you wrong. These could be a friend group. You could have been a little bit chubbier than everybody in your friend group or everybody in your school. And everybody was skinny. And now they treated you like this. They did this shit to you because of your differences and because they had unreal beauty standards like they wanted you to be looking like them or i feel like everybody um in their group all look the same so like i said it is giving family vibes to me or like i said mean girl vibes if this ain't your family then these are like co-workers or classmates that you went to and they're literally mean girls uh we all are skinny and tall over here and you're short and fat and stay over there you know get and you can flip it Oh, uh, we all thick as fuck over here and you ain't got no ass. Stay over there. You get what I'm saying. So don't take it as, because it literally could flip anyway, okay? Um, But yeah, these people had like weird beauty standards. uh, And that was a reason that they didn't like you. Oh, you don't look like us. You're not skinny like us. You're not chubby like us. You're not like us. You don't have like long ass hair like us. You're not light skin like us. You're not dark skin like us. You're not white like us. Like stay where you're at. You mm, stay there, okay? That's what these people tried to do to you. So, like I said, it will be different for all of y'all. But it has a lot to do with beauty standards, okay? Um, they uh, also put what this person did to you is that they made it seem like somebody had to go to war with you. Because um, remember I was saying that, like, other people really, really like you, really, really love you. There could have been somebody that fit more so in their group that really like you and really loves you. And this person tried to pin this person against you. Why do you like her? Like, we're nothing like her. Like, you need to go bully her. That's kind of the vibes I'm getting. Like, they tried to get other people to bully you as well because they feel like you didn't fit in with them. Whether it was family, friends, coworkers, it really do not matter. They tried to get other people that actually like you to go up against you. I feel like they, don't, they did not like the fact that people that were like them liked you. Okay? Um, I also put this person tried to embarrass you. And if this is not the person that actually embarrassed you, they laughed hard as fuck while somebody else was trying to embarrass you. Some of you guys, this embarrassment took place while you were in the room. Like, like let's say you were in the room and they were like, girl, you ain't never like, you ain't never got your hair done. You look a fucking mess. And then it's like them and then somebody else was like laughing hard as fuck. So it's either the person that was saying weird or rude shit to you. Um... And their friend, but I'm getting the vibe like somebody's saying something about you, and then somebody's like laughing hard as fuck. Ah! Oh, that shit's the funniest shit I ever heard. Both of them, both of them over there scared as fuck for their life. Okay, other of you guys, remember when I was like, Oh, it wasn't me, it was my friend. I ain't got nothing to do with it. This is the person, like, they also were involved in bullying you too. Like, they didn't have to be laughing that fucking hard off of shit that wasn't that funny when it comes to you. 
Uh, I don't like her. She look goofy. I hate them like gappy ass teeth. I I like to use myself as example. Okay, I don't like bitches with gap. That shit ugly. Like she look goofy as fuck to me. The person over here that's like, I didn't do nothing to her though. I didn't do nothing to him. They were laughing hard as fuck. <laughs> you said her teeth look like what? But then they wanna. But I didn't do nothing. I didn't. I, I never did anything to her. But yes, they were laughing at you. They did partake in trying to bully you, trying to pull you down, trying to hurt you. Okay. I mean, and others of you guys, it's more so of the person that was saying the shit, trying to get other people to laugh at you, like heavy on the embarrassing, like, like try to embarrass you. Some of y'all, y'all might not have been in the room when they did this to you. So this is another reason for some of y'all, they're saying like, I didn't do anything to her. It wasn't me. It was my friend. It wasn't me. It was my cousin. It wasn't me. It was my sister. It wasn't me. It was my brother. It wasn't me. But you wasn't in the room when they was cracking the fuck up and laughing at you. But your ancestors seen it. Spirit sees everything. So that's what's going on. That's why some of these people are scared, nervous, <laughs> for real, okay? So, yes, yeah, somebody was trying their hardest to embarrass you and they really had other people laughing at you. Or the person that is doing it was the person that was laughing hard as fuck when they knew somebody else was just trying to embarrass you, okay? But, um, also, these people are just very narcissistic. Um... Uh, some of y'all, these people tried to set you up. Some of y'all, these people took pictures of you. Some of y'all just can go back to the trying to embarrass you. Some of y'all, they took pictures of you stimming. So some of y'all are, are neurodivergent. Some of y'all could be autistic, ADHD. Uh, somebody took a video or a picture of you stimming. Like, have you ever seen somebody stimming? Like, they rock back and forth or something like that. Let's see somebody's, like, taking a video of you and saying like like she's fucking crazy but really you're just stimming you're overstimulating so you're you're stimming okay uh that's not for all of y'all some of y'all they just took a picture or a video of you where you were doing something like let's just say you're staring out in space or let's say you were talking to yourself or listening to music i don't know what you were doing but it's like they tried to embarrass you oh my god i got a video of her look at her she's doing this she's doing that it's like a weird energy. This is really a bully energy and they're really disgusting. And if you are neurodivergent or autistic or anything like that, they're even more weird. Because like I said, you're allowed to stem, bro. If you want to stem, I be stemming all the time, bro. Uh, <laughs> but still, it's like somebody tried to, oh, look at her. She's weird. Some of y'all, that's the box they tried to put you in. She's weird. Let me record her real quick. Like, I don't like that vibe. I don't like that energy. I think that shit is weird. I think that's weird to record somebody and be like, y'all see her rocking back and forth or whatever it is that you do where you might be overstimulated and you have to get that energy off of you. Some of y'all, it's not as deep as that. Like, they just took a video or a picture of you trying to embarrass you, okay? They could have talked about your body in a negative light. So you take it how it resonates. But all I see is whatever they were trying to target about you, they were things that you couldn't change or you couldn't change like that, okay? Because, I mean, I can't change even if I tried, even if I wanted to. Like, you cannot change some of these things where they try to, uh -huh, oh, she's like that. And let me take a picture of her because she's weird. And you see her doing that and this and that. Yeah, you guys are bullies. You're, you're the weird one. Okay. Um, also, what else did they do to you? Um, these people, they may feel like you don't look like anybody else in their family or their group. So, they don't like that. Um, so this person was aggressive with you for no reason. This is literally somebody that's like, they might see an autistic person. Even if you're not autistic, let's say that they see an autistic person. They will bully the autistic person because they're like, oh, that person's autistic. Like they're an ableist. Okay. Um, but yeah, this person felt like, like, oh, she doesn't look like us. He don't look like us. They're not like us. So let's just bully her. I'm going to be aggressive to her because I don't like her. Because she's not like us. Like, we don't look like that. We don't We don't have that. I don't know. We're not into that. So, yeah. Some of y'all, this person could have been being really aggressive to you just because you're different or neuro, neurodivergent. Could be autistic or simply mysterious just to yourself. Because some of y'all, some of y'all could be autistic or neurodivergent. And some of y'all, y'all might not be. You're just to yourself. But I just see somebody trying to bully you and like thinking that shit funny. Um, whether you're, you know about it or not. Um, also I put this person realized they got caught up for being weird and this is why they're scared. And also this person is scared that everybody's going to hate them for what they did to you. 
okay? And they're scared that the word is going to get out. And they're scared that when the word gets out on how they tried to bully you, how they tried to put you in this box, that everybody's going to hate them. Like, they're really, ner they're more nervous about their image and how they're perceived than what they did to you. Wait, they're not in that energy anymore. What if they go tell everybody what we did to them? What if they tell everybody that we bullied them and we tried to make fun of them what if they like this this person is more so scared that everybody's gonna hate them for what they did to you but they have come to the realization that they got caught up for being a bully they have come to the realization that you know what they were trying to do they came to the realization that they can't put you back in that box so this is why they're like okay i know i can't put her back in the box but what am I going to do about her telling everybody or him telling everybody what I did to them? Some of y'all, y'all might not even tell everybody what they did to you. You might just move on from them. But that's what's going on. They're nervous. Like, God, please. I know I bullied them. I know I'm wrong. I know I, I hated on them. I know I didn't like them. But I hope they just keep it to themselves. Tell everybody. Fuck them. But nah, that's, that's really what's going on. Like, they are scared that people are going to start hating them for how they did you, okay? Um, so yeah, I just see this person crying, praying, don't cry now, <laughs> don't cry now, now that you see that the collective has grown, now that you see that the collective has, has gotten out of that box, why are you crying, because people are gonna see you for who you are, like this person is really scared that people are gonna find out that they are narcissists, that they are ableists, that they only bullied you because you look different from everybody in your family or everybody in your friend group. Yeah, that's what it is, okay? So that was pretty much my channel message. Y'all keep doing what y'all doing. <laughs> y'all are not doing nothing wrong. Y'all keep growing. Y'all keep staying out of boxes that people are trying to put y'all in. And like I said, the people that did it, they're nervous. They're scared. They're praying. Now they're scared about their image of being a bully of being rude as fuck, mean, ableist, whatever it is for them, okay? So, I did pick up on names and locations. So, let's get into the locations first. So, we got Miami, Denver, Columbus, uh, Columbus. I'm about to say Columbia, but Columbus, uh, California, Houston, Detroit, Chicago, Mississippi, Florida, Atlanta, Kentucky, uh, Greenville, Missouri, Canton, New York, okay? Now, let's get into the names. So, we got... Nicole Donovan. Oh, it could be first, last, middle. Does not matter. Your name, the name of the bully, the name of your friend. It really don't matter. Here we go. We got Nicole Donovan. Maisha. Uh, so we got Nat, Natalie, Natalia. Okay. Anything with Nat. So Nathan. Um, we got Bella, Lauren, Jamar. Why the fuck did my phone just die? <laughs> Somebody don't want their name put out. And I'm about to charge this motherfucker up and get right back to y'all. Y'all, let's get back into it. Let me finish these names. So, Shaboy, Shaboya, Shaboya, Roll Call. Let's get into it. So, we got Nicole, Donovan, Maisha, Nat, Natalie, Natalia, anything with Nat, Bella, Lauren, Jamar, Crystal, Jojo, Sergio, Nikki, Takesha, just Keisha. So, any names with Keisha, Lil Keisha, Takesha, Makesha. Um, Alyssa, Boyd, Justine, or Justin, Claudia, uh, Kay Kaylee, Sean, Andrew, Ash, Zach, Darian, Lopez, Jing, Tucker, Elena, Harrison, Jenny, Mar, Precious, Angie, Lexi, Wayne, Russ, Tammy, Robert, Lamar, Eddie, Dolores, LJ, Hannah, Bobby, Colby, Ella, Oriana, Janae, Ashley, Eric, Ray, Rainey, Devante, Sailor, Hazel, Sada, Ace, Mila, or Mila, um, Whitney, Nita, Nick, Nicholas, or Nicholas, Nicholas, mm, but Nicholas, <laughs> Ferris, Troy, Zoe, Sparks, Rain, Laura, Anderson, Dre, Steve, Tucker, and Kobe. I hope it resonates. Love y'all so much. Bye.